hi guys today i'm making chicken karahi quick chicken karahi for this i need chicken cut pieces i need one tomato can from coals i need this fry karahi gosh spice which you can buy from any of the indian store or any asian store in australia and uh, you need uh, chicken uh, ginger and garlic paste and uh, the yogurt and i am heating my uh, karahi and then i'm gonna put the chicken with uh, some oil and tomato can and when it's tender then i'm gonna do the rest of the process it's quick karahi i'm adding chicken I'm adding tomato can for this recipe I don't need to uh, fry anything in the beginning I'll fry it later when the chicken gets tender so that's where I'll make it I'm adding this packet of a spice mix which has some you can make uh, this with at your home uh, with a crushed red chili uh, cumin coriander powder um, a turmeric you can make uh, this dish spicy with the spices at your home adding some extra spices will make this delicious i'm adding little bit of oil adding a water I'm adding ginger garlic paste mixing it That much water is enough for my chicken and I have to wait till it's tender and uh, then I'll add uh, some yogurt at the end and then uh, uh, the sliced onion and uh, then fry it and it will uh, give the taste to the dish. The chicken is uh, going to be tender because uh, the water is boiling so the curry when the curry goes dry I'll add rest of the ingredients with that I'm making the roti and if you want to learn how to knead the dough and make roti at home so comment me and please subscribe to my channel so that I can make more of the videos and comment which recipe you want to learn point I'm adding the sliced onion if you want some of some gravy in that you can have it it's not necessary to have the karahi without any gravy or fry. I'm adding a couple of spoons of yogurt. And mixing it.
we don't have uh, electric we don't have gas in Tasmania so all our stoves are on um, electricity that's why it, uh, uh, my stove is taking too much time to uh, dry out the gravy so I have to keep it for longer but if you have the a uh, gas stove definitely it works faster so i'm keeping it again for some more time to uh, dry out a little bit of gravy and uh, uh, the oil comes on top this is the final look and i'm not going to dry it completely because my husband likes with the gravy and if uh, you want a fried one so keep on drying the gravy because this is a very thick gravy it's not uh, runny the oil is on top so hope you like it and enjoy it please subscribe to my channel and try this recipe thank you